happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah uh today we're gonna be taking a look at a clip of hollywood panics as mel gibson exposes them all um this one the title says it all man mel gibson has really been on a like just a hot streak lately with you know bringing the truth to light and trying to push some of these people who have been you know hiding in the shadows and their societies have been hiding in the shadows over being one of them Kind of pushing them out into the forefront of the society so we can see the public seeing now our eyes are being open especially with the sound of freedom you know um being right in front of us and kind of bringing that awareness to you know human trafficking and what's been going on in the world he's bringing the light from the other end with all the elitists and the hollywood people you know to let them know like let us know they are part of this also these are the main people like pointing a big finger and i love how he's doing it man uh, we're going to hop straight into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, man. Subscribe to the channel and roll with the 10K. Let's do it, y'all. In a 1998 interview, Mel Gibson made a number of cryptic references to a dark and evil side of Hollywood that he personally encountered. When I came over here, I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-20s. Right. The first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. Um, and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. They don't. <clears throat> and, it, 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 and I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it that were like, surely that couldn't be because whole place can't be like you know weird town you know where the stranger wanders in and and all the people are in the bar and they all shut up when he looks at him and, mm -hmm. and they tell you don't go out of the house on the hill and it's like that mm -hmm. and then you go away and you think no that's i was wrong i mean that's insane thinking i'm paranoid i imagined that stuff that couldn't be the reason for why so and so was acting like could it? Mm. And then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track mm. with a lot of this stuff. Not specifically on no. track, but that you could, uh, that some of your worst nightmares were real at the time. And you think, <gasps> mm. a place like this can humiliate you. Mm -hmm. And it can be, it can either, it can humiliate you, it can be humbling. I mean, it, it does rip your life to pieces Is it? if you'll let it. Yeah. And it's always pounding at the walls. It's yeah. the, these little guys, these little heathens with no soul downstairs with horns on their head with a battering ram trying to like beat your walls in. Now Gibson, of what course, the? since the head interview, has met with, uh, shall we say, some unfortunate circumstances. His reputation was soiled after 2006 drunk driving arrest when he made widely publicized anti-Semitic remarks, which have tarnished his reputation among Hollywood insiders ever since. And yet, Gibson appears to have come out from that reputational slander rather undaunted. He was seen of late standing up and saluting President Trump at a recent UFC championship fight, and he's been pictured posing with Carrie Lake in Arizona. But now we're getting reports that Gibson is preparing to release a groundbreaking four-part documentary series that will shed light on the hidden world of a global child sex trafficking ring. According to Newsweek, the shocking revelation is expected to expose the industry's staggering annual revenue of $34 billion. If you can believe it, that's an amount that surpasses the yearly earnings of the airline industry. Bro, what? Imagine, man. Now I'm like, I'm on the edge of my seat. Imagine. He said a four-part documentary coming soon from Mel Gibson. Bro, imagine the things, like he just said, like the horns and, you know, the little monsters in the basement beating and like sacrificing their soul. I'm like, what? Hold on, bro. You detailing this way too vivid. Made my stomach turn a little bit, bro. Gut wrenching. Bro, what? Oh my goodness, man. I can't wait to see this one. Oh my goodness. They, bro. I feel like they're going to try to find a way to silence this movie, man. We got to make sure they don't. And I'm, I'm here for it. You can believe that's an amount that surpasses the yearly earnings of the airline industry. That is Here's wild. Tim Ballard of Operation Underground and one of the leading figures in the global fight against child trafficking. 
go to Ukraine. Got a phone call from Mel Gibson. He actually did the final edit of The Sound of Freedom. That's how we know each other, but not well, not well enough that I'd be getting phone calls. And he told me that he was in Budapest at the time. This was right hours after the invasion. And he said he supports a bunch of orphans in Ukraine and he was worried about them. And he asked if I could help get them out. So now I've got 12 from my wife. I bought 13 others from Mel Gibson. And I'm thinking, okay, I got this list of kids I got to get out. Um, I told Mel, I said, you got to help me. This is going to be expensive. I won't ask you for direct donation, but can you help me film this? You know, let's film what's happening so we can get people to understand and they can support us. He said, no problem. He helped us get set up and started filming. Four months later, what I thought was going to be maybe a documentary about Ukraine ends up being a four-part docu-series that's almost done. It's being produced by DNA Films and executive produced by Tony Robbins. That's how crazy it got and how prophetic my wife was. When I showed up in Ukraine with a list of, I think, 20 names, the Ukrainians countered me and gave me over 10,000 names of orphans that they didn't know where they were because of the chaos caused by war. And more importantly and, and more frightening to me was the fact that I know that human trafficking is a $32 billion a year business. It's the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world. And I also know how kids get forced into that market. And it's through vulnerable situations like in the aftermath of a hurricane, mostly in a developed country or an earthquake, or in this case, a war. Hey gang, have you seen the Twitter thread died suddenly or the new movie by the same name? It really is heartbreaking to see the rise of sudden stroke deaths that seem to occur in lockstep with the tyrannical forced vaccinations of the Biden administration. And now the number of strokes continue to rise. And I'm very concerned. So here's something that I'm doing to protect myself and my family. My friends at Lifeline Screening are helping me detect my risk of having a stroke. And I liberalism. Tree need will be saved by Make visiting sure Lifeline. Get that with and is one of Liberty and Gibson behind the Biden administration at our southern border happening more than any was happening in his life to rescuing children from human trafficking which of course yeah. is happening in Ukraine as he uh, pointed out and it's happening more than any one of us could imagine our worst nightmares at our southern border thanks to the deliberate incompetence of the bumbling Biden administration but as you can see from that testimony Mel Gibson behind the scenes is on the forefront of these rescue operations which may indeed involve the release of this documentary that according to Newsweek. Now, you should Maybe know Gibson's publicist has uh, denied these rumors. Uh, obviously, he's very what? worried about the blowback that Mel would inevitably right. get from a town that doesn't appear to take too kindly to exposing some of their darker tendencies. But unfortunately for Hollywood, the genie may be out of the bottle on this one. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw the recent bombshell piece in the Wall Street Journal, a front page article exposing the social media site Instagram for being used as a platform for connecting and promoting a vast network of accounts dedicated to the commission and purchase of underage sex content. It was an, in an investigation conducted by the Wall Street Journal, Stanford University, as well as the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And it found that Instagram's algorithms actively promote pedophilia related content, connecting Ugh. pedophiles and guiding them to content sellers through various recommended systems. The researchers discovered that Instagram allows people to search explicit hashtags related to child sexual abuse and links them to accounts advertising and selling child sex material. I mean, it was horrific stuff Hell to say no, the least. Bro. And indicates what? That's and that's all programmable. Like you can, you know, what I'm saying the algorithm isn't a person. You can program the algorithm not to, you know, to filter out like certain, and it should flag if you search that. It should be flagged, and you should automatically get a squad car to your house. You know what I'm saying? An investigation should, you know, you know, start up after you do some weird ass searching like that. Just like if you Google search, you know, how to do some crazy shit. You know, you start, you're going to get a paper trail. They're going to start tracking you down. The same with Instagram, man. They need to implement something like that because that is fucking sick, man. No way the algorithm, like, like they allow the algorithm to, you know, assist in pedophiles just having their way. It's a, a, the easiest thing in the world. No, that's nasty, bro. Child Come sex on. material. I mean, it was horrific stuff, to say the least, and indicates that something seems to be going on here. 
there does seem to be a kind of Harvey Weinstein-like rumbling going on here where the dark secrets everyone knew about are about to come to the surface for all to see. So regardless of whether Mel Gibson goes through with this or not, it does appear that the cat is out of the bag and some pretty seedy behavior among our ruling elite is about to come to much deserved light. Mm. Hey gang, I know what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times. Hold on, bro. Before you get off into that, I just want to ask y'all, man, do y'all think Mel Gibson's going to release it? Do you think he's actually like going to shelve the whole project? Do you think he's been intimidated already? Like, you know how scary it can be going against these this big giant that is Hollywood. Like, it's not just a little town, like a little rinky-dink town where your neighbors aren't going to like you. This is like powerful, very, very powerful people. They can stop what they say was being produced and uh, edited and cut through, what is it, DNA films or DNA productions? DNA could, they could very well, you know what I'm saying, buy DNA or, you know, blacklist DNA from doing any publications. Like, come on now, let's be real. They can, they got, they can put some stops to it. So I feel like that might be what Mel, Mel is trying to know. Downplay, like, nah, 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 we're not doing a movie. We're not doing a movie. We ain't doing a movie. But I know we're going to be like, we did a movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I hope that's what he's doing, man. You know, to kind of uh, just just alleviate a little bit of that, you know, the initial. Because even before the back blow, he's going to get uh, lash outs. You know what I mean? Like, why would you do that? Da, 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 da. Just like I feel like um, he'll, you might, you might see him catch another incident where he's like a run in. Like, he was drunk driving and he got into a wreck. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. He's in jail. Like, something... That, some type of incident or altercation could happen um, that could prohibit him from being able to release this movie. And that's what I think, you know, I mean, they're, that's what he's trying to prevent is them getting involved. Because if they see he's, you know, cut it, put a stop to it, they won't they won't do anything to him. But if they see he continues down this road, they might, you know, try to do something. So probably the safe move by Mel. Ruling elite is about to come to much deserved light. Hey gang, I know what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times, but I broke free. If you too have been looking for a community with like-minded patriots who are serious about resisting globalism, make sure you guys subscribe to Retro Steph. I already knew he was gonna go with this. Yo, he put a plug, he gonna plug me in this? Yo, make sure you guys subscribe to Retro Steph, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the end? Oh yeah. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, my dude was just about to plug me, y'all. That's the craziest. I didn't even know this dude. He's about to plug my channel. Now, that's crazy. Nah, that was Hollywood panics as Mel Gibson exposes them all. I can see where this uproar is starting to happen, man. Like, you got, um, damn, what's the dude's name? Um, the Sound of Freedom guy, you know what I'm saying? Who was, who was based on? Um, it's got him, you know, connected with Mel Gibson. And, you know, he's a big act activist. He's, Connected with Mel Gibson, Mel's asked him, hey, can you go and find um, these children in Ukraine? I'm worried about them. He gets there and he's got like a long, long ass list, you know, like 10,000. The Ukrainians got a list like we lost a lot of kids, guys. Please help us. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like once they linked up, Mel introduced the documentary. They got the documentary going four pieces, four parts, y'all. This is not going to be some, you know what I mean, hour-long video where you go, it's the beginning, the middle, the end. No, this is going to be the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the middle, the middle. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get, get really deep in depth, and I feel like we're going to really dive in and be able to see, you know, the back end. And I feel like Mel has those insights that Hollywood doesn't want us to know. I'm telling you that right now. Hollywood, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's already out at Oprah. He's out at... Oprah so bad that I feel like, you know, I mean, they definitely will do something if he, you know, gets any deeper. Like, I feel like he's embarking on very, very, very dark, dark waters. And I feel like he could get into some trouble. And I really am scared for Mel because this is a lot that he's putting out. You know what I mean? So I feel like Hollywood's getting a little uncomfortable. He's getting a little too close to home, way too close to home. And they're freaking out. Yo, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. You think Mel is going to be safe, man, or, or or do you think they're they're going to, you know, get in the way or try to do something to him, man? God forbid. But yo, let me know what y'all thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you guys like this video, man. Subscribe to the channel and road to 10K, y'all. I'll catch y'all next week. Go. Perfect.